Welcome you back. You're watching In Focus. Now, earlier this year on In Focus, we aired a discussion with Paulette Mpuma, a native of Cameroon, who created the Africa Memory Game, an educational board game targeted to educate people about Africa and its diversity. Now, all of the contents needed to play the game are contained in this small box, and in it is a map of Africa, 100 cards with questions about Africa's history, geography, its culture and people, fake money for trading, and other elements. The World Bank, the Smithsonian Museum, and several bookstores are just some of the places that sell the memory game, which costs only $25. The game is distributed in French and in English. And now we are very pleased to welcome Paulette Mpuma on In Focus to tell us about the new addition to the game and how it is helping with juvenile diabetes in Africa. Hi, Ms. Mpuma. Thanks Hello. so much for joining us. Thank you for co to, to bring me back here. Well, it's our pleasure. And, mm -hmm. um, Congratulations again on your game. So tell thank me, you. you have a new edition which you launched in uh, February or yes. in uh, late March. Yes, I want to thank you first because uh, I think the, the, the last time you brought me here, I was here the 27th of December mm. and it was a great time great. because it was just Christmas time. Right. So because of this and my game was completely sold out. Wow. So I have to rush and do another version that was the third release of the Africa Memory okay. Game. And the third release actually involved new, um, uh, like the new country, the South Sudan. South and Sudan, if, I see uh, that it's in the new is, map. Okay. Exactly, and different details that need to be updated too. Okay, good. So mm -hmm. it's still selling well, and now by adding this, um, it, making it bilingual, mm -hmm. you're trying to make sure that it reaches both the French and African audience. Uh, French and African, because there's and foreign French English speaking audience. Yeah, yeah. F there's like 40 countries in Africa speaking French on uh, 54 countries. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that it's a big audience. It's not only there, but the diaspora also mm -hmm. is um, in France and in different countries that uh, mm -hmm. in Belgium, they, they really need the game at that time. So I prefer to keep the game first in the version French and English. And now this game is only sold really here in the US. You're not selling it in Africa at this point, right? At this point, no. I have two uh, person point of contact that sold like 100 in uh, Abuja in Nigeria, Nigeria mm -hmm. and 300 in Congo, uh, Brazzaville. But there were point of contact that really want the game there. I didn't have a distribution system mm -hmm. set up f in Africa for so the moment. It's just a distribution issue. You don't, it's not that you don't think this is relevant to educating people in Africa. Oh, I think it's more than necessary to be there because uh, most of the people who play the game told me, like I'm from West Africa and it's great that I discovered South Africa. I didn't know all of what the details mm -hmm. that are in South Africa. So I think it's like one of the major tools. Even the people of, uh, I met a lot of people who did the Peace Corps, mm -hmm. who told me it would be a great tool for us to teach okay. the children we have about Africa. Now, beyond the educational value of the, of the game, uh -huh. it is also to do with this cause, juvenile diabetes in Africa. Uh -huh. What's your involvement in that and my, why that issue? My, my, my involvement came with first my, my situation. I have a son who's diabetic. He's uh, 14 years old now, but mm -hmm. he was, he, we discovered that when he was two years old and we didn't know a child can have diabetes. Mm -hmm. And when we discovered, we were completely panicked. And when I did some research after I started, uh, uh, um, I tried to build that foundation, I found out that most of the children don't survive five years old in Africa because they lack insulin. And insulin is distributed only in the men uh, city, Cities, like okay. in Cameroon, it will be Yaoundé, it will be Douala, and, and new cities add is Bamenda. That means any child with diabetes in the rural area cannot Amazing. have insulin, and without insulin, you cannot pass the age really of five mm -hmm. years old. So how is the Africa Memory Game helping to address that problem? What I did first, the game was sold first, $20, but when I saw that it's a big concern for me, I add the price, I up, uh, upgrade the price $5. to $25, every five uh, extra five dollars is sent directly to that cause okay. because the game still costs me a lot because I produce in America. Okay, uh -huh. and I guess uh, people can access this information. You have a website on my website. We we'll post that when we air the. We'll, we'll, post, we'll post that on our on our site so people okay. will get to see it. Okay. Thank you so much. That's Paulette Mpuma, the creator of the Africa Memory Game, joining Thank us you. here on In Focus.